I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorm, Maine. This is an antique courting mirror, or should I say, looking glass. As you can see, it's a wooden frame with space for colored glass and a nice mirror, and the glass is uh, decorated also. Now you can see it's in tough shape. I have a little conflicting information about these looking glasses. Online, I found an article from Hunt Magazine where a curator from Winterthur Museum says these mirrors are 18th century mirrors and that they were made in Scandinavia. But there's a newspaper clipping on the back here that says they were 19th century and made in China. They both may be correct, but here's a clue about this particular looking glass. This glass was Mrs. Lucy Shepherdson, something Ebenezer Smith's second wife. She was born in 1740 and died in 1808. The first thing I need to do is see if I can get this paper backing off the frame. It looks pretty well attached along this side, and of course we have no idea what adhesive was used. I'm going to experiment on this side, maybe in this area here. I want to see what happens if I just try putting a little water in there. I think it seems to be loosening up a bit. Maybe I'll try a little bit more. Here's a place that's really down. Okay, I've let that water sit for a few minutes. I've also bought this product called Lapinite. It's a synthetic clay. I know it's used in paper conservation to remove adhesives. I'm gonna, I really am not familiar with it. I'm gonna mix a little up and see if it'll work on these adhesives. You can see it's already started to turn into a gel. I have no idea how much to mix in to water. I was just guessing. I'm going to apply a little bit uh, right here. We'll let that dry and see what happens. It's cold in the shop today. Let's, um, okay, let's see what we got going here. So I was poking around this yesterday evening while it was still wet. Um, the moisture loosens the glue. I'm not sure though that it's worth it uh, trying to figure out how to use the gel or even just water. I'm thinking I might be better off just trying to mechanically separate this. In other words, dry using uh, knives. Seems to be 
popping off this area here, so that's good. Time to take this wire off. So now we can see why this corner is hanging together. It looks like it's been repaired before. So I think someone took this paper off before, did some repair work, and put it back on again. Though it's funny, maybe, maybe I don't need to take this off. Yeah. This joint is <laughs> together. Okay, I've got a bit of scraping to do here. Try a little vinegar on here, see if it helps. Yeah, <laughs> helps a lot. Okay, I've laid these strips on all these surfaces. This has been here for about five minutes. Before I glue this together, I need to make sure that the glass will go back in there.
Oh, I got to get rid of that now. This joint, that's all the tenon we have there. And I discovered, uh, of course, this little block was in the uh, box, and it matches this one over here. And I'm going to use it for the same reason. This joint definitely needs some extra support. Just realized I want to do this face up. So in this corner, I'll glue this little extra block on the back uh, afterwards. There's also pieces, uh, mis we have these pieces here which I can also put on afterwards. I'll do that tomorrow, let this dry overnight. came together well. All right, I've got some uh, bits and pieces to glue on. Oh, and I discovered a couple more. I was looking at the paper backing here, 
and uh, trying to figure out if I could get this wood off of it, which I don't think I can, but I discovered additional little support blocks. There's a lot of glue there. There's a lot of glue under here. The paper's already damaged. There's extra tape there. I've just got to try to get under there with a knife and see if I can separate it. Luckily, I'm able to see in there and just cut the adhesive. A little bit of paper damage there. It's uh, somewhat inevitable. It's interesting because uh, these pieces seem a little too big. I may trim them down a bit. If you line them up to where it originally was, I think right there, it intrudes upon the space in the back because these were probably installed while the mirror and backing were still in there. So. Uh, I think I'll put them, I think I'll line up the bevels, put them on that way, and then trim this out afterwards. Okay, I don't need to let this dry overnight. Uh, later this afternoon, I'll take these clamps off, uh, turn it over, and glue the last bits on the front. This piece of glass has some paint missing. And there some of it is, so that gives me an idea of where this was located. Now let's figure out what we're going to do about the glass. My first thoughts were to glue this back together, but it's pretty easy to see that it's a terrible joint. It's not, it's not a clean break. It doesn't go back together. Now the first thing I'm going to do is clean this. I'm just going to use a clean rag and some water. You can see the clear plastic tape that someone put on here. I'm just going to keep peeling this back carefully with a razor blade. I don't want to uh, use any chemicals on the front of this. Now, a lot of this here is, uh, appears to be residue. The tape's already gone. 
Here's a little bit. I put a little uh, paint thinner on a rag. I think the paint thinner's getting the that residue off slowly, but that's good. Let's see what we can do to secure this in the frame. The first thing I want to do is measure the depth of the frame. That's about 5 sixteenths or 0.8 centimeters. Now check the thickness of the original glass. That's about 1 16th or 0.16 centimeters. That leaves us a fair amount of room in that frame. Let's see what we got here. I've got uh, restoration glass, which is always good, and I do have some antique glass, so let's see what we got. The restoration glass is just a sixteenth also. I may go up to the barn. I have more antique glass in the barn, but I have a suspicion that I'm not going to find anything big enough. You know, it's all just shards. Uh, the restoration glass is fine. This is restoration glass from uh, Benheim's in New Jersey. I'm hoping that you can see in this reflection how wavy it is. And it also has uh, defects. Yeah, actually fits. Fits in there nice and snugly. Okay, before I go any further, I want to uh, clean up and polish the frame. I'll start by cleaning the glass. I have uh, just a water here with just like literally a couple of drops of Windex in it.
Okay, now I'm going to add uh, just a couple of drops of uh, Murphy's oil soap into some water and gently clean the wood frame. Now I'm going to wax the wood uh, with a little bit of Go Boys polish. Okay, the wax has dried for a half an hour. So my theory here, I've got the glass supported from the front by the piece of glass I added. And now these strips of wood, I'm using little strips of satin wood inlay here, because they're so convenient, to then hold the mirror in place and hold the two broken pieces together as best as possible. I'm going to put a couple of pieces of uh, cardboard in here to hold it in place. In fact, I think I'm going to put a piece of wax paper first, then cardboard. A second piece of cardboard. Then I'm going to use some uh, glazing points to hold it in. Okay, I got four points in. Before I go any further, I've got to see how it's looking here. Oh yeah, it's good. You can see that the uh, old wooden back is still attached. It's quite a mess, this paper. So I'm just going to try to smooth this a bit, looking for any, you know, chunks that are a little loose and might want to come off. I've got some uh, archival quality linen tape here.
seems to fit really well here in the back. That wooden back fits right into that space. I'm even able to uh, slip that wooden back behind those blocks, which is nice. Now I'm going to put a little bead of uh, hide glue under here, see if it'll stick down. Uh, this seems pretty good, but we've got some problems where those blocks are and stuff. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Boy, I've been pressing this down and pressing it down, but it doesn't want to stick. I don't know if it's something about the tape or what. I may just have to tack this down. Luckily I've got these really small ones. So I just put in four tacks. At least I know this isn't going to fall off. And then I've uh, cut some of the tape into strips and that seems to be sticking uh, a lot better than the glue did anyway. All right, I feel like this paper's on there pretty well. That's good. Well, there you have it, a courting mirror. Of course, uh, they would have called it a looking glass. I think it's 18th century because of the note that's on the back. It came to me literally in a box. My goal was to just take it apart, put it back together, not really change anything. I think it looks pretty good. I've got about eight hours in this job and these are the tools I used. 